Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Mega Man 3 for the NES. Last time we took on my second favorite robot master and stage in this game, and now it's time to take on my personal favorite robot master in this game, Snake Man. And I, I like this guy, I like his design, not only his design, but I like his stage design and the music this stage is real catchy too. I also get to demonstrate topspin a little bit too. See, once you get used to it, it'd actually be a pretty decent weapon. Now, these snakehead enemies remind me of the one uh, boss that is in the last level of the Bucky O'Hara uh, NES game. But yeah, overall, I just like the uniqueness of this stage a lot. And of course, Shadow Blade makes things easy here, but... I I I'm trying to think... Well, Toad Man and Mega Man 4 is also another one based off an animal, which is green. But I, I, think I don't think there's any stage quite like this one in any other Mega Man uh, game. Why, thank you for dropping that one up <laughs> that I really don't need. Oh, I forgot about these guys. They actually pull vault over you. Now, my recommendation for uh, for dealing with them is just let them pull vault over you and just jump over them like I did just there. Or if it comes back to you, you can try to kill them, but they're pretty much a nuisance, more of a nuisance than anything else. An awesome thing about Shadow Blade is, see how quickly I d uh, did with that hammer, Joe? Try doing that with a Mega Buster. <laughs> But yeah, Shadow Blade is my favorite weapon in the game. And in taking this right la ladder up here, you get these mystery barrels, which... They randomly give you a prize, which right there gives me a w not only a 1-up, but it gave me a, a big uh, weapon refill. Which sometimes they give you energy refills, small and large, and... But yeah, if, if you get an opportunity, make sure you... Uh, shoot at them and see what all they give you because they may give you something that you may actually need. There's another big snake. I, I guess this would be considered the, mi the mid boss of this stage, or the mini boss, I should say, like the Tabbies and Top Man stage. Now, this is a tricky jump. Once again, I don't trust my jumping ability, so it's on the rush jet for here, and I'm going to switch back to this one. But yeah, I don't know what those pool vaulting enemies have to do with snakes, but... <laughs> hey, I, they're easy enough to deal with. And those uh, enemies remind me of the uh, ones that are in Super Mario Bros. 2. Now this part right here, if you stand on those towers, you actually go on a cloud platform that slowly rises up. But this level can be tricky, especially with these moving cloud enemies that are actually more like bullet bills once you hit them. But I just decided just to use Rush Jet through here, that way I don't have to deal with any nonsense. And then for Snake Man, his weakness is the Needle Cannon, so I just switched right here and I get ready for him. And as long as you know when his attacks are going to happen and how he moves, this should be a relatively easy battle. And as you can see, he's pretty weak to the Needle Cannon, and just like that, his battle was done. But yeah, this is the first time I actually got to use a weakness on a Robot Master. With Top Man being uh, Hard Knuckle, Shadow Man... I forget what his is off the bat, but, uh, but that's beside the point. Anyway, we get the Search Snake, which is definitely among the more unique weapons in the Mega Man series. Which, one, it's also one that I don't use a whole lot, except for a Robot Master weakness, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.